Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions JP, this is a big day for me. I did leave a hint on a community post, but let's awaken Helena to the last EX job. <sighs> All right, that is done. That was full of drama, that entire raising her up. Uh, well, let's go to here. Let's see if I can unlock the rest of her nodes. Okay, AP up. That's good. Magic up. Okay, last five levels here. And then, uh, last attack, level 120 attack. A non-elemental magic attack for medium damage, 100% hit, and a little bit of range. Single target. So let's get that. Awesome. Ah. <laughs> and then, let's raise her levels. Great. Uh, by the way, I have not heard back from customer service uh, when I sent that letter talking about all of the uh, the Mog medals that I wasted uh, that I was hoping to save for Helena. Uh, maybe it got lost, or maybe they're ignoring me, or maybe I sent it to the wrong place, but whatever it was, haven't heard back from them. But you might be wondering, how did I finish Helena so quickly after losing all of those Mog medals? Uh, well, I did it by getting more Mog medals. <laughs> Uh, of course, I did the, uh, the hard quests and then the, uh, the barracks every day. Uh, but then also I went into like friend medals and then I exchanged for these guys every day. So yeah, you can see how many bazillions of mind spheres I have for these guys. And then also in uh, guild medals, not as many here. But yeah, you can see that all my friend medals are gone. And then I showed this in my uh, How to Do EX Jobs video. I'll put a link to that in the notes. But uh, there's a new feature in JP uh, where you go to the, uh, the sold metal area for unit shards. You can hit this red button and then you can uh, just get mine spheres for whomever you have that's ready to go to uh, EX Jobs. And so we can look at the uh, price of uh, the units. We can see that there are different prices for different units. I'll pull up this table. As you turn in more uh, Mog Metals for more shards using this system, uh, the price will go up every 50. Um, so we can see that her shards, they cost uh, 16 per, means that I've gotten all of the shards on the 1 to 50 tier, on the 51 to 100 tier, and the 101 to 150 tier. Uh, it gets pretty expensive as you get up there. Uh, hopefully this feature comes to uh, Global soon. And then, in talking about uh, these units, I prefer to use the term double price rather than double cost. There's already an instance of the use of the word cost, and that is this right here. Uh, if Helena were truly double cost, she would be cost 160, twice the cost 80. Uh, so that's why I like double price better. And it's also why I say like slash resistance penetration rather than slash resistance piercing because uh, there are two other instances of the uh, the word piercing at least in the English version here okay but that is not the whole story let's also awaken Megamont last step here I'm wearing my uh, red shirt today for the uh, Leonis family not just for Helena we're gonna do Mont too <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can get all of his nodes as well. It's funny, yesterday I had a script all written out uh, talking about how I was like bummed or like uh, burned out uh, working on these cost 100 units. Uh, but this morning I woke up and I got the final shards for both characters. And it's like a big weight has been lifted off of my mind. Um, so I'm feeling much better today. <laughs> Okay, but we got the final nodes for Megamont. Again, AP up, HP up, uh, final five levels. And then here a TP skill uh, for three turns. We'll raise, own, uh, defense, and then CT gauge. So yeah, not super necessary, that last skill. Not like Helena. So I was happy to uh, leave him at 115. And I was fully prepared to do a um, level 115 review video of Megamont. Uh, because he'll probably be coming out pretty soon in uh, Global. Uh, but we can uh, do the extra good 
like perfect review of Mont level 120. So that would be cool. All right, there they are, Charlotte, Helena, and Mont. These are the first hatcher units post EX jobs uh, that I have gotten to 120. You look at all of my other 120 characters, they're all legacy characters that got EX jobs uh, after they were released, so this is pretty great. Uh, but here I'll just kind of talk about my uh, kind of overall impressions of uh, cost 100 units. From day one, I never liked the double price units, but I kind of pushed myself to uh, get Super Stern and Megamont and Hyper Helena, and then uh, kind of build them at a slower rate for a discount price uh, to see how I liked the experience. Uh, my conclusion is I didn't like it at all, and I'm not going to touch any more cost 100 units in the future. And then it goes back to knowing what kind of player you are. Like, I can and I do wail in uh, JP, War of the Visions, and the reason why I do that is because I know that I prefer to play at a certain pace. And that's what you're really getting when you are putting money into a game like this. A lot of people think that when you put money into a game, you're pulling for units. Uh, but really, it still comes down to luck. Uh, like, people that uh, do put money into the game, they get more chances to try their luck. Uh, but like a free-to-play player can just get some free uh, vision or whatever and then pull it luckily on the first pull. What you're really getting uh, by spending in a game like this is speed. You can build your units and your teams faster, uh, you can craft better equipment faster, you can clear the higher level content faster. And that's the speed that I prefer to play at. I've said this before, but I don't enjoy playing my free-to-play account just because it is so slow. <laughs> but these cost 100 units, they fell into a weird place uh, where they were more expensive than I was willing to play and so I kind of had to build them sort of as a free-to-play uh, user in terms of speed in an account that was kind of going real fast in every other aspect. And it just felt weird and wrong, and I didn't enjoy it. I refused to pay the full price for the, uh, the double price stuff. Uh, so I think I'm just not going to touch them anymore from now. I think everybody, uh, including free-to-play users, should take a cost 100 unit and then work on it. Uh, to see what it's like, to see if they can uh, manage it, uh, to see if it like shreds their patience, uh, or if they even enjoy it. I think everybody should try at least one unit. Uh, but yeah, I have thoroughly tried them at this point, and I can say that I'm done with them. <laughs> as a player, but also as a person, I really value uh, like free headspace. I don't like things weighing on my mind. And so like working on a cost 80 or 90 unit over two weeks, I can handle that, uh, but working on a cost 100 unit uh, over the course of months is just too much. And then working on two at the same time is even worse. I can't recommend that. And so, what I would prefer is that Gumi and Square would just stop with the double price uh, stuff completely. But I know that that's probably not going to happen. Uh, but if they went back to the old way, where like every six months uh, they released a cost 100 unit, I would be okay with that. Uh, pretty soon there's going to be the uh, one and a half years anniversary for JP. I expect they will release another cost 100 unit that, at that point. That would be okay. I just want them to stop with like, you know, the first of every month release a cost 100 unit. Alright, so that'll do it for this video. Uh, this is just kind of a uh, show off, an announcement. Uh, after this, I'm going to make an arena team using both Megamont and Hyper Helena, uh, do some fights, I'll try to put up a video of that uh, soon-ish. And then I will do a level 120 review of Mont uh, in the coming days. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.